friends, welcome to or back to my channel. If you've never seen this series before, my name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single week and in today's video, I have a special announcement. I've kind of been scared to share this on YouTube for a while just because YouTube is my biggest platform and I was scared. I don't know because I'm a big baby. Obviously, as you're about to tell this video, I launched my first ever small business. Hint, hint, hint. I don't want this whole video to turn into like a plug for myself an unpaid ad because that's just kind of annoying and that's not what this video is about. Basically, if you want to follow Shoddy Shop on Instagram, yes, I used my subscriber name Shoddy because I couldn't think of anything else and I really like how it sounds. It's a very important word to me and to us, obviously, if you've been subscribed. If you're new here, you're probably so confused. You'll catch on, honestly. I have gotten a couple questions like, why are you launching jewelry when you haven't even launched merch? I've been making so many merch designs but I don't launch them because I'm really scared and who knows if that's ever happen so but basically the shoddy shop is my little baby and I make and sell 100% sustainable spoon rings basically I learned about them on TikTok and I tried making them myself and I fell in love with it and with everything being at home right now and constantly looking at my phone iPad computer for school or YouTube the only two things I do I really wanted a hobby and kind of like a hustle that I could do that could not revolve around a screen like I was so sick not that I'm saying I'm sick of YouTube I obviously love YouTube but I needed something that would take me away from sitting at my desk and staring at a screen and I've always wanted to make my own jewelry except like how like how the frick do you start a jewelry company when you're just a small creator you know like you can't go hire people in factories or whatever to make it so I'm like okay well if I want to launch jewelry I gotta make it myself so I started making some spoon rings I have two collections out right now plus kind of like normal bands I haven't posted them on Instagram yet I kind of will when things slow down a little bit but I have my worldwide collection and my Rolex ring collection basically the world collection is that I have a hundred different spoons from all over the world here's an example this one here is from Easter Island and this one here is from Tahiti and this one is my Rolex one. Ooh, got a flex in that Rolex. There's so much more information on the Instagram if you want to check it out at Shoddy Shop. It'll be linked down below. Again, I'm not going to this new plug for myself because I kind of just wanted to show you guys how to make spoon rings in case, you know, you want to make them for fun. Yeah, like I don't want it to seem like some exclusive thing. It's supposed to be sustainable. You're supposed to use resources that you already have. Yesterday was my launch. When I launched for the first time, it was so scary. And I got four orders. That's kind of a big deal. Four orders and I sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings on my first day. So it was really exciting. I haven't started making any of them yet. I'm going to make them today because yesterday... And still, like, today, it's just making me feel so anxious. But, like, obviously not in a good way, but it's not, like, a bad anxious. I'm just, like, nervous because, like, I can't mess up when I make them, you know? I was going to do some practice first just to, like, get warmed up before I make them. And I wanted to show you guys. I'm not going to show you how I'm making specific orders because I want to make that a whole separate video. Kind of, like, day in the life of running a small business or trying to run a small business. If you guys want to see that, comment down below, but I really want to make that its own video. This is kind of just a fun little announcement video, plus let's make some cute rings. This is kind of the section in my room right now. It's a bit messy. Those are my orders to do. Spoons that I put aside that people have bought. These, an alphabetical order, are all the ones from the Worldwide Collection, and this box is all of my shipping supplies. Maybe I'll pack like one order in this video, but not in depth because I want that to be its own video. This is like my order book where I'm writing down orders and like all the details for shipping stuff. Obviously not going to show that. So this is a vice just for my room to do small things, but I have a bigger vice in the garage that I actually build on. This is my mandrel. Here are just basic bins for my kitchen. This is the one I want to practice on today. It used to be part of the Worldwide Collection, but it had a pen on it. It had this little pennant on it and it fell off but I think this alone will make a really pretty ring so I'm gonna play around with this to warm up. These are all of my Rolex spoons if you guys can see that. This is also like a Rolex spoon right here. There's like three different designs of the heads or whatever. I haven't made one of these yet. I've only made the smaller ones that look like this on my middle finger. These little pouches I bought just so unboxing it would be really fun and cute little business cards that I made. Look how cute that is. Um, and here are a bunch of other rings that I've made so far. Just for myself, I haven't uh, marked these ones for sale yet. This one's Big Ben in London. I really like how it overlaps here. I feel like that just looks really cool. And just some normal plain bands from Spoons from My Kitchen that are there. Um, another Rolex one. I said this wasn't going to be a plug. I said we we're going to make rings for fun. So that's what we're going to do. I need to stop talking about my little business because it just makes me so happy and excited and nervous. <sighs> I need to like remember how to breathe. Okay. 
let's just go play around with this ring and I'll show you guys the fun little process. I'm just gonna stop talking. Actually, I'm just, mm, to get to the garage. Here you go. Wait, I'm supposed to talk. Look at all the stuff I'm carrying. This is not efficient. Here are all my tools, and here's the most important thing, the vise, mounted to the workbench, so she is sturdy. Um, yeah, obviously the garage. Does anybody have a clean garage in this whole world? But, um, yeah, we love a messy garage. My dad might kill me for showing this. Yeah, here's my little workplace. I like standing, too, while I work. Until I'm, like, a straight-up professional, I'm probably not gonna be filming myself doing actual orders, because when I'm, like, really, really focused, I need my AirPods in, I need to listen to a podcast or music, and, like, I'm so zoned in that I don't want to have to worry about, like, making a good video. You know what I mean? Like, getting good footage. So, I just want to show you guys one that I'm going to make for fun. Maybe I'll sell it on my shop, just as, like, um, an as-is size. First thing you got to do, you got to know your ring size. So, I'm, like, a size 5 or, like, 4 and 3 quarters. I get my little ruler. I kind of wanted to play around with this one and just make it wrap around like completely. I'm not sure how it's gonna look, but I kind of want to do it. So instead of measuring out, I'm just gonna cut it right here. But if I was trying to make it perfectly to size without like an overlap, I would measure it, um, add a little bit, like probably half a centimeter and then cut it. Yeah, so I marked the spot with my pliers like this especially like with the worldwide ones. There's only one of each. So I literally cannot mess up. There's no room for error, which is really scary. No pressure at all, you know, not literally causing myself more anxiety. Honestly, I think eventually, like, my nerves will calm down. It just makes me, like, really anxious and I'm, like, scared to mess up. But I know if, like, if I do things, like, slowly and properly and with a lot of, like, attention and, like, preciseness, like, I know I'm gonna be fine. I'm just, I'm not using it as, like, my therapist right now because my chest is, like... So once it's kind of like marked right there, that's when I use the vise. Because I don't want my spoon to get scratched, I use a towel um, against the vise. I line it up from where the line I cut is, and once you bend it over, it'll just like snap off. So when it's like lined up perfectly on the line, I just bend it back and forth, and boom! It just broke off like that. So magical. This next part is going to make your ears bleed. This is why I like to have headphones in while I do it. But for the sake of you guys, I'll turn down the audio for you when I'm editing. But like, I'm going to be in pain. So you got to file it down because obviously no one's trying to get cut here. So I have this file here and I file. Oh, it hurts my ears. So next thing I do is I get my mandrel. So it has like all the ring sizes up to a US 16. I'm a size five, but I like to start like making it a size bigger and then I just size it down because it's kind of like easier. To so yeah, it's gonna be loud while I'm banging, but I basically, I use a mandrel and I shape it. You guys will see. So then like as it starts to bend more, I slide it down the mandrel so it gets closer to my size. It's easier to get it bent more when you're like on a bigger size because it's not as like steep, you know, like bending something like this is easier than like this. Does that make any sense? I kind of look crazy. So I kind of like how it looks on my thumb, to be honest. Let's try another finger. All my fingers, I swear, are like different sizes. Do you like this? I can't tell if I like these designs or not, to be honest, where it like wraps around because it's kind of big. The point of the ring mandrel like sizing, you drop it in. It's kind of between like a five and a six. So I'm back in my room now. You can kind of see it in way better lighting. I mean, it's an interesting piece. I think it's just really awkwardly shaped because the pennant that was at the top of the spoon was just really big. That was my first wraparound testing mirror. So I think now I'm going to start working on my orders, which is like really scary. But um, I will get back to you guys when I'm done doing those because I'm really scared to start them and I need to be like super, super focused. This was like warm up just to get me ready to do some orders. So yeah, that's so crazy and so exciting. These are spoons I set aside that have already been paid for and I got to make them. This one's Pisa from Italy. Two Rolex ones with like the rose design. This one from Hawaii. Um, another Rolex one, but with the flag design. That's like the Switzerland plus sign that's on the flag. This one that's from Haiti. And this one that 
that's from Australia and it's like celebrating 200 years with that cute little guy. These are all the orders from my day of launching, which is so freaking crazy. Three of them are local drop-offs and one of them is an actual like shipment. So yeah. Hey guys, so it's actually been a fat minute since I've vlogged because it takes focus, honestly. It took me way longer than I thought to make seven rings in one day, but I did it, but it was honestly like kind of late by the time I finished. But I want to show you guys them now. So I did have one technical difficulty. The Hawaii one was from my friend Patricia, but I guess the spoon was like really old and the band snapped when I was hammering it. So I'm making her a Rolex one instead. That really set me off and it put me in a bad mood that it broke. But I will show you the ones I did make. So I made three Rolex ones. I guess I'll show you guys that first. This rose design is a size six, I believe. This one was the flag design. My hands are also really gross and dirty. Please don't look at them. If you guys watch my vlogs in the summer, you probably know who Adrian is, but he said he was a size 13, but I find that really hard to believe because this is a size 13 and two of my fingers can fit inside and I don't think his fingers is big. So he's re-measuring it, but because I kind of had a feeling that was going to be too big, I left a pretty big gap so I could close it and make it at least down to like probably a size 10. And then also for my godmother, she ordered pizza because Italian. It says pizza there at the front and then there's a leaning tower and then the band is wrapped around. This one is in a size 9, I think. The Rolex ones are so hard to close off because... Rolex really went off with these spoons and just they're high quality metal and they're so hard to bend. My worldwide collections are a bit easier to bend, but the Rolex ones are so hard to bend. I literally spend 45 minutes to an hour for one Rolex ring. Like, I feel like obviously there's gonna be people that'd be like, oh my god, why does she charge that much for a spoon ring? It takes a lot of time making a spoon ring and you have to buy supplies. I got an order for Australia and Haiti. Here's the Australia one. It has a little animal on it and it says 200 years, which is so cute. And the other one was Haiti. Haiti had a really thin um, band, so I had to be really careful not to snap this one. And I just sold two more spoons this morning, which was Antwerp and Thailand. And another Rolex one, because I said I was going to make Pat a Rolex one. Two of my orders here are drop-offs, and I kind of want to do that today because it's like really exciting. So I'm going to pack my first order ever. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. I probably said this for the 300th time, but again, I'm going to do a whole separate video of like a day in the life and a more like routine style of how I go through an order. This is kind of just like my first order ever, so I wanted to document it. I got these 100% compostable bubble mailers, which are so cute. They're the perfect size for my rings, and on the inside, they're like padded. Basically, the lot of spoons that I got for the Worldwide Collection, the guy who sold it to me actually had like these little notes of fun facts about all the places that the spoons came from. These were the Australia and Haiti ones, so I thought it'd be kind of cute to just include it in the order just for fun. And I have these strings, and I was thinking, because like, you know when you buy something, it's like tagged? If I should like tag my rings and like write what size they are. I need a coffee. Honestly, that's what I need right now to help me figure this out. Oh wait, that's so cute. Look how professional this looks. And I just have Haiti size 8. Okay guys, so next I have these cute little pouches that I showed you that I'm gonna put each ring inside. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, see you never again ring. This is so crazy. Like that, look how cute that is. Ryan oh, and then I have these little business cards that I made and I printed them out and cut them out. Right now they're in black and white. I think if my shop grows more, I'll obviously invest in like a better like either sticker and printing in color right now. Just these cute little black and white business cards that just say thank you for supporting my small business with my Instagram handle saying love Shauna. So first um first order. Okay, this is so exciting. Okay. <laughs> It's sealed, guys. 
What? Okay, and then I have these little labels. I'm just gonna, even though these are Porsche drop-offs, so I know where they're going, I'm still gonna write the name and address on it, I believe, so you guys can't see that part. This is so exciting. I'm not gonna show, like, the name and address, obviously, but then I'm gonna stick it on the back side of this and call it a day. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay. <laughs> Two packages. This is so cool. Okay. I'm going to. What do I need to do? I need to drop these off. I'm probably going to go later this afternoon. Send out email receipts. And, and work on two more orders. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Hey guys. So I know that ended so abruptly. And honestly, I was just so overwhelmed with my launch and like getting orders done and like sending out my first orders that like i just didn't record the rest of it and i had more schoolwork and like orders to do after so i just stopped recording but i wanted to end off this video properly i really want to do a whole like day in the life process of like the orders making shipping and all of that of a small business owner kind of not really more like small business owner amateur but like maybe one day so comment down below if you want to see that here are the shoddy shout outs of this video thank you guys so much for all your love and support and make sure you all go follow shoddy shop on instagram i'm probably going to be having like a valentine's day sale or valentine's day giveaway coming up so make sure you're following it if you want to get some spoon rings and thank you to every single person who's supported my little business so far it's literally so exciting and really scary it's honestly bringing me like so much joy so thank you and i'm sorry i look like this I promise you my spoon rings look a lot better than this mess. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.